Hi guys, this is Kun. Today I'm going to talk about Bahamut weapons. Bahamut weapons are exactly the same with normal weapons. However, they only provide bonus to certain races. You need to go through three stages to fully uncap and upgrade weapons. There are three types of Bahamut weapons in stage one and stage two. First, pure damage Bahamut weapons, which give you a 30% damage bonus. Second, combo Bahamut weapons, which give you 15% damage and 15% HP bonuses. Lastly, we have HP Bahamut weapons, which give you a 30% HP bonus. Bahamut weapons with the same skill do not stake. The one with the highest skill level will override the rest. That means you should only carry maximum of 3 Bahamut weapons in your weapon deck. However, HP bonus is not really important in Grable Fantasy at the moment. So we only use pure damage and combo bomb weapons for our weapon decks most of the time. The skills of bomb weapons will be further enhanced once you bring them to the third stage. And there will also be some changes in the ratio bonus. Although the damage and HP bonuses from different type of third stage bomb weapons can be staked, they will be kept at 50% and 30% respectively. Bamu Dagger and Sword are currently the mainstream realm fantasy because there are a lot of human and Aaron characters with powerful skills. However, please don't follow blindly. Everyone has a different setup, everyone has their own teams and preference. So you don't have to force yourself to craft something you don't like, especially Bamu weapons, because they take a lot of time and effort to craft. To craft a Bamu weapon, first of all, you need to get yourself a fully uncapped rusty weapon. You can get these rusty weapons from Angel Halo and Bahamut Ray itself. If you have no idea how to farm Angel Halo, you can refer to my previous video for more details. Sometimes, if you're very lucky, you can also get SL Bahamut weapons directly from Bahamut Ray's, but the chance is very low. The crafting itself is very straightforward. All you have to do is to follow the steps one by one. However, it's very difficult for players to upgrade the skill level of bomb weapons because unlike normal weapons, you need 2 to 3 times more fathers to upgrade the skill. You might also want to take a look at my previous video if you want to know the most effective ways to farm for fathers. When you're upgrading the skill level of bomb weapons, remember to level up the skill level of your SSR fathers first. Because you don't want to waste your SSR fathers and it is impossible for you to bring bomb weapons to level 10 with SR weapons alone. Last but not least, it is unable for players to change the element of bomb weapons because their racial weapons effects are applied to all elements in Grand Fantasy. Alright, that's all for today. Thank you for watching this video. This is Kun. I will see you next time. Bye. たくさんの花に囲まれてあなたも幸せになれるぜ。誰だってくれる。暇つぶしにもならん。